The new Elite Wax Box for March actually includes a sealed 2324 Star Rookies box set. So we'll save that towards the end there, but let's start off the regular Wax Box Club Hockey for March. All right, regular Wax Box Club. Let's see what we have in store for March. Ooh, 1920 Series 2. Some older packs of flagship here. Let's take them all out here. There's a solo shelf for the Wax Box. But here's the packs. Looks like we got a 2122 Credentials pack. We got 2122 Skybox. 1920 Hunt Makar Series 2 there. Retail pack. 1718 Hunt Hosang. Didn't need to check out his music. We got an MVP Hobby Pack 2324. Another pack. Pack of Skybox there. Ooh, 22, 23 Platinum and 23, 24 BG. So all fairly interesting packs here, but we're going to do worst to best and that's going to be 21, 22 Skybox. Let's try to avoid the literal cheese in here. It doesn't look like we have cheese, but Kalen Addison, Premium Prospects. There's Gustafson, Rookie there. Okay, next pack of Skybox. I mean, 21, 22 is dirt cheap at this point. Probably because it just whiffed. It's just not that great of a product. We got, oh, 97, 98 of Perfetti. Lapierre, Rookie, K. Okay. I guess let's do 23, 24 MVP Hobby from the Wax Box here. Get another rookie redemption while we're at it. Uh, no, we got something else here. Askroff checklist. We got a Kopitar, Stars of the Rink, K base. And then let's do 21 22 credentials. Let's get a numbered card in here, perhaps, which we do right here. Brome. But that's not great there. Matias Brome. It's a 2021 update ticket uh, to 199 there. Red. 2021 tickets are much nicer than 21 22. I do have a redemption from this set. I need to open on video, but K. We got a Star of the Night, First Star of Makar, Ovi Kachuk. And let's do 23 24 OPG. Let's get a Bedard of any sorts. Hey, we got a purple. I'll take card 582 in the purple. Not a rookie though, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's not a rookie, so let's just go through it. It is. Hey, I'll take it. Best vet you can get though. Phil Kessel. Purple and that is 27 to 49 for Kessel. Fortunately, did not sign with the Canucks. That made me sad, so if he retires or not. Hopefully, that's not the end of his legendary career there. He needs eight more points. Come on, eight more points for a thousand there. Jeez. Got Travis Boyd retro. Okay. Yeah, let's do 17-18 Series 1. No, I haven't checked out Josh Hoshang's new album. I need to though. At least I searched it up and I was like, okay, I'll check this out in a bit. I haven't yet. I do plan on it, so I'll give a review of it when I do. But let's see if we have him here. That'd be great. Nope. We got John Gibson. Shining Stars Red with more base bottom there. And then we have the two packs here. I guess we'll hunt Kale McCarr first. 1920 Series 2. It seems like it's back and forth. McKinnon's overshadowing McCarr this year, but McCarr is overshadowed McKinnon. That's just going to be the case. But hey, we got a murky rookie here. It is Faravari. So no McCarr there, but a Faravari murky rookie. Base. No more OPG updates and flagship. But we got 22, 23 platinum. I need to get more of this eventually. Let's get a numbered card that isn't high numbered. Okay, I'll take a red prism. Red prisms are nice. Uh, three base there. We got Gooley, D. Simone, Harlstrom, Photo Driven, Headman. Uh, we got a rainbow rookie, Jeff Mallet. And it's not signed, I can tell you that much. So, three base prime there. So, not signed. Probably not a rookie. Come on. I'll take Curry Doc. Okay. Curry Doc, who can't stay healthy, sadly. Red prism there. That is 15 of 199 for Doc. So, that finishes off the regular rock. Box. Let's get on to the Elite. Alright, let's check out the Elite for March. Again, it comes with a sealed box of Star Rookies, so we'll see what we have in store in here before we open that up. So, okay. Again, it's par for the course here. Seven packs and a graded card. This thing feels really heavy, so I don't know what to expect in here. Maybe a not PSA slab. It's definitely a PSA slab. But why do these packs feel so heavy? Is there a bunch of Platinum packs? Yep, there you go, Platinum. And then we have uh, some more current packs. Another Platinum pack, SBA, K. Okay. So here's the packs we're dealing with from the Elite Wax Box. Looks like we got two 22-23 Platinum packs. One 21-22 Platinum pack. Some 2223 Ice, got some 2223 Allure, 2223 SBA, 2324 OPG, Star Rookies box set, and a graded slab here. So, dang, quite a few things to check out here. So, let's start off with the 2223 Allure and let's get a numbered card or something here. Maybe, I don't know, probably not. Three, boss. Black Rainbow. And then we got a Morgan Baron color flow. That's red orange K. We got a New Hook Runways, Hero Rookies, more base. Then let's do 2223 Ice next. Aggressively not good proc, but it looks like we might actually have an acetate card in here for once for the first time ever. But it's got it's probably going to be a parallel. I follow Markstrom. He's a green parallel. Of course it is. And it's upside down. What the heck's that? Ottinger, Green, K, Kachetkov, Rookie. So let's just reveal it here. It is a Kodiak. who's on the flames now. Been traded around a bit. 449 of 599 for Nikita Kodiak in the green parallel. So parallels made this product pass away. Too far gone. It's watered down too much. I mean, the limited red future watches and parallels that ruin this product too, I think. So obviously the retros are disgusting. But yeah, RIP to Ice. Ice premiers were so desirable way back when. But 
let's do 23 24 rpg probably the strongest product of the bunch there but it's the cheapest let's see if there's anything in here Ooh, red border i don't think it's a rookie though saros and ross cole red border and a retro of kutra so a couple of lightning there okay all right we got five packs left here three platinum one sba and a star rookies so let's do 22 23 sba and let's get an autograph that's not a retro future watch uh, Ooh. okay we have a base black that's not a future watch so that's kind of interesting might not be signed but collaboration stammer kutra lee pageantry okay it's a base it's not a future watch i can tell you that much it's a base it might not be signed uh, it's jvr yikes jvr base black gold ink autograph there i'm not saying yikes jvr i mean he's had a really good career and that's probably not fair for me to say i mean i'm boston now he's probably gonna be best known for being a net front presence guy and being like a top tier deflector so but yeah i mean that's cool nonetheless jvr base black oh, that's better than a retro future watch for sure so i'll take it that's not too bad whatsoever and then let's do off centered set 21 22 platinum hobby and let's hopefully get a numbered card in here looks like we got a matte pink but there's a garland retro three rookies damiani swayman and benoit matte pink of josh anderson best are photo driven three more base then let's do the 22 23 platinum pack and then i'll do the star rookies then we'll do the grade card looks like we have something in here i'm not sure what box of cards look like in 22 23 here but definitely a matte pink there there's a dylan wells marquee rookie kuzmenko and zach hayes landis god galvanized retro cider and an andre svechkov matte pink so basic one there and the final pack for platinum here do we have something that's not an insert looks like it's just an insert regenda kachet off Spence and we have a rainbow retro Jack Eichel okay retro rainbow Owen Power sweet selections another retro White Johnson the so one of the better rookies there but it's just a retro okay base. now let's do the star rookies from the Elite Wax Box I didn't get a single Bedard parallel in my case and yeah I learned how to take it out properly beeping thing right there let's take it out there I mean let's hopefully get more than a blue here all right here we go Star rookies box set so same stuff once again here I know Bedard still has quite strong value there uh, let's do the quick Bedard check here. He's going to be right there. Yep. Yeah. Iron Bedard. Guaranteed Bedard. He sells strong for sure. So, I mean, it's a good alternative there. But that's good there. I can't tell what we have in the back here. Whatever it is, it's uh, it's just a blue. So, there you go. Leo Carlson blue. Which is definitely not the worst. But there you go. There's the Star Rookies. Nice to have a little addition there with the Star Rookies. But, okay. Then we have the graded card from Wax Box. Looks like a PSA slam. Let's check it out here. And let's see what we have in the store. Uh, 2022 Upper Deck. Number 213. So, it's a 22, 23 Series 1. Young Guns, Patty Beneers, PSA 9. So his stuff is cratering aggressively, but uh, there you go, Matty Beneers. Young Guns, PSA 9. I'm pretty sure I comped a raw, like 20 bucks Canadian or something. So yeah, his stuff is down aggressively. Just hasn't been a good year for the CL Kraken. Not saying Buddy's going to be a bad player by any means, but it's definitely been a rough one for him for sure this year. So regardless, that's a nice pull to get there. Matty Beneers, Young Guns, PSA 9. To finish off, the Elite Wax Box. Hey guys, there's Wax Box Club Hockey and the Elite Wax Box Club Hockey for March 2024. A lot of stellar packs a couple of older interesting packs in there but yeah plenty of platinum packs in there which i do enjoy we got the star rookies bonus pack got some spa in there as well as for our polls we got a nice kirby dock red prism got a kodiak green ice premieres got a leo carlson blue not even close the best poll this break got the phil kessel purple of 49 i mean 600 card checklist and they gave me phil so yes there you go there's a jvr limited black auto with the gold ink there we got bedard star rookies and a Beneers young guns psa 9 which i wouldn't be surprised if this is going for more than that i know i'm pretty sure that they're both raw it will be going for more so yeah all in all super fun break if you guys want to check out the wax box yourself links will be in the description as always thanks for watching i'll see you guys later